content month. And by content, I mean I'm gonna be stealing content for my good friend M and J TV today. Well, that is if he lets me. One second. Hello. Oh yeah, Mikey. Uh, can I react to one of your videos today? Uh, sure. All right, thanks, babe. Love you. All right, love you. Today we're gonna be reacting to M and J TV's. Can you beat Pokemon Platinum? Now, this was a bit of an April Fool's joke, but at the time, I was still playing Pokemon Platinum, and I saw this title, and I had to drop a comment. No, I can't. <laughs> These titles are getting too personal, Mikey. So I thought it'd be probably best to watch this video, as I have actually only seen a bit of it because I was... I was busy, but I think I remember a few moments in our calls outside of these videos that I could add to this. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. Greetings, boogie fans. Hi, Mikey. Here and today Wait, sometimes it says greetings, boogie fans, and I want to see if that's what it says. Oh, rest in peace, us boogie fans. Today, I'm going to be trying my toughest Pokemon playthrough challenge yet. True. I can agree. Pokemon Platinum is no joke. All right, let's. Can you beat Pokemon Platinum? That covers all the intro Woo! stuff, so let's dive in. <laughs> the first step is picking a starter, and I went with Piplup. Pip oh, yeah. If you're familiar with my content, sorry, might be I'm already loud. By this pick, since in the past I have not been shy about my disdain for. He doesn't. He doesn't like Empoleon. Who doesn't like Empoleon? Empoleon. However, I. At least it's not a turtle. Maybe by. Well, I kind of like Pokemon turtles. And embarking on such an incredibly difficult and challenging journey together, the two of us might form a bond. A James. Before we go into the obvious dad joke that he's making right here, knowing Mikey as a real person, he gets very attached to the in-game thing. So I, I'm sure he actually has a deep bond with Empoleon now. Bond. I named the Piplup James. Next, I caught a oh Starly, since a strong Pokemon like Staraptor will be necessary for a challenge such as this. Staraptor's the coolest I named bird it Pokemon. Nimbus, but it had an attack lowering nature, so I caught another one. I named this All one right. Stratus, but it had a speed lowering nature, so I <laughs> caught another one. I named it Cirrus, and it had a defense lowering nature, which I could live with, so I went with this one. At this point, Mikey, I would have just gone for adamant. After a bit of training, I had my second battle with my rival, not subbed. Because okay. after all, those were was... not subbed. Oh, the enemy. I I was about to rewind to see what he named it, but he's not wrong. If you're watching this video, you probably thought you were subscribed, but you're not. You see that gold play button in the background? I want one of those. I only got the silver one. Subscribe Make to sure him to and subscribe, me. Subscribe, everyone. Turn on notifications. Yeah. Sort of thing. By the way, I uh -huh. won my first battle <laughs> against my rival. I didn't mention that earlier. I've lost it, that fight like well 20 the times. Of the James Bond joke because my Pip-Pup did not have a nickname yet. So, anyways, for the second battle, oh, I won it never easily mind. thanks to Cirrus O'Calling, both of his Pokemon. The next event of note was the first gym battle against Rourke. James took down Geodude with one hit. I just realized I this isn't randomized. I have no clue what these gym leaders actually have for Pokemon. Two, thanks to a potion. It, they James just gave it an onyx evolution level 16 and a cranidos and i remember all the experience from cranidos it would level up again and miss print plups level 16 metal claw as a result wait that's a thing this led me to do some wacky switching bringing in cirrus for a bit but after surviving with just four hp james took down cranidos after the battle, both James and Sirius Is this a Nuzlocke? Each no, this is literally just Pokemon Platinum. Mikey, you better win. Power you better win. Decrease in cuteness. I made my way to Floroma Town in the Valley Windworks without catching any other Pokemon. Okay, you get that Pokeball. Time to battle Mars and her you didn't get the Pokeball. Sirius took down Zubat, but took a crit now, bite in the- For those watching this, when you're not playing randomized Pokemon Platinum, this fight right here, you are meant to struggle. Uh, pure ugly while looking like an abomination is actually a very very Process. hard pokemon to beat came the true threat the I, I expect a pokemon to die here cat somehow being faster than my bird yep. it got Cirrus it's so down fast to red hp before look at Cirrus those thighs one hit i withdrew Cirrus so i could bring it back in and intimidate later okay so in went james while the Perugly repeatedly <laughs> it's attacked, just non -stop. James kept using psh, Bubble, psh, which was psh, weak, but had a chance to slow it down. James got Perugly down to about a quarter health before and falling, dies. but his sacrifice allowed Cirrus to come back in and land a crit quick attack, winning me the battle. If he didn't crit, comment section, help me out. If he didn't crit, would he have whited out there? 
To be honest, I do not know if the crit mattered for that last here you go jack just watch the video and shut up because they're gonna bring it fast quick attack but if it did oh my god oh my god i would have lost okay i told yep. you guys <laughs> this is a brutally difficult playthrough no no still put in the comment section boost the algorithm Challenge. a little while later i arrived in eterna city to admire the statue that i made that he's gonna talk about his that's gone tweet. wildly viral Seriously, I see my own picture on my Instagram Explore page like at least once a week. I, I see it too. It's funny because Mikey doesn't even have a Twitter anymore. And I see this post on Twitter once a month. Every time I text it to him, be like, hey, Mikey, have you seen this really cool photo? <laughs> it's like at least once a week. <laughs> then I challenged Gardenia for the second badge. Cirrus Oko Turtwig right away. Cherim took a few hits. Okay, to this, is a, this is an easy gym. But Cirrus eventually took it down after only taking one hit. If you were Finally, adamant, Mikey, Raid, you would have killed that. A terrifyingly close battle, but one that ended That wasn't in close. Real Mikey. quick side note for those who don't know, whenever I say I O-code something, O-co is O-H-K-O, which is short for one hit. What O-co really means is, oh my God, you have not subscribed knowingly to Purple Cliff. Oh. Which is short for one hit. That's knockout. wrong. That's I took nope. it down using just one attack. Don't listen With to that. With cut in hand, I could now oust Team Galactic from their own building. On the top floor, I had to battle Jupiter, and James took her Zubat yes. out using just Save a couple Chad. bubble beams. In came Skunk Tank, who's I don't think he's going to show Chad. Disturbingly large amount, and my bubble beams did disturbingly little. Ooh. James only landed one hit before falling. Dead. But this allowed Cirrus to come in and intimidate it. Cirrus repeatedly wing attacked while Skunk Tank failed to land the, any oh, poison the, gas. The editing changed. I was Finally, like, Cirrus it did it negative down. damage? Another incredibly difficult battle in this very tough challenge. Yeah, these, Once these, that was done, this, I decided this game to is really hard. A lot of people underestimate the challenge of Pokemon Platinum. I remember losing as a kid to this. Head to Wayward Cave. With how difficult of a playthrough challenge this is, I need strong Pokemon. And what Pokemon could be stronger Zubat. than the strongest trainer's strongest Pokemon? Zubat. That's right. I wanted Garchomp. That too. All I had to do was make a beeline for the secret segment of Wayward Cave, go in there, and... The what? There's a secret location? All I had to do was make a beeline for the secret... What? Secret segment of Wayward Cave, go in there, and catch... A I'm doing that next time. But then what happened next... Well, I think it's better to show you than tell you. Is this? Yep. I know what happens here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what? Oh my God. We, we got this in, I, I, Mikey didn't even actually tell me this. I heard through a friend. I think I got a, a just a, a discord message being like, you won't believe it. Mikey got a shiny, and I, you'll find out the rest later, but... I don't uh, believe this. Oh, he recorded himself? I don't believe this. I have not modded the odds of this game. <laughs> I just... <laughs> <laughs> this is the face of true Pokemon passion. Does he have his logo on the window? I want that. What? Can someone screen cap? One second. I'm gonna. I'm making this my profile picture. Boom. Oh my god. And I have it on camera. I think I might just huck Pokeballs because it's a Zubat. It's gonna have a high catch you, rate. You right? better catch it. <laughs> Part of me so wanted him to kill this thing. <laughs> I am I am I an asshole for that? What? I named my full one in 8,000 odds shiny Zubat Ambush because it was one of the synonyms for surprise on thesaurus.com and I just thought it sounded really- Mikey puts so much effort into naming his Pokemon. Meanwhile, my Twitch chat makes me name Pokemon stupid things like- <laughs> Never changed, Mikey. After that Mikey. chaos, I finally did what I intended to do in Wayward Cave and caught a Gibble I later named Kalahari and also what biked does my that mean? to get the TM for Earthquake. There's Earthquake? A crazy strong TM to get this early. That early? Training up That's ambush, insane. Who shortly evolved into a glorious green Golbat. Alliteration. And then I went to the other side of okay. Wayward Cave to rescue Mira. And in that process, Kalahari... 
Who? Ari evolved into Gabite. After this, I decided to look up Gabite and Garchomp's level up move set because okay. I wanted to see when they learned a ground type move that was stronger than Sand Both are both are forty. And I was disturbed to see that I didn't get Dig to level yeah. forty, and also never got Earthquake by level up. Does it learn Earthquake? What? Oh, does I it? I just got. The it learns team. Earthquake! Might as well use it! I hey! promptly taught Kalahari Earthquake, <laughs> meaning I had a gabite with Earthquake before the third gym. This That's insane, I never knew that. Be fun. Before long, it was time for the third gym battle against Fantina. Despite using Ambush to bite my way through the gym trainers, I led with James. It only I has a Duskull, I knew her Duskull knew and you Willowisp, have Earthquake. And James was my you can't only lose now, attacker Mikey. who did not care about the burn attack drop. James was burned right away, yep. so clearly I made the right call. My penguin friend took a beating in the process, but he was eventually able to take Duskull down. The future site. As she brought uh -oh. in Miss Magius, I switched to He's Ambush. He's playing in switch mode, okay. Ambush bit first, flinching Miss Magius and preventing oh! a side beat. It healed with its berry, but Ambush simply had to bite again to take it down. All right. Finally was Haunter, who barely held Easy. on for the first bite what? and then put Ambush to sleep. She healed while Simply I slept, unlucky. but then Ambush woke up quickly, biting once more and ending the battle. My PG. unsubscribed nemesis then attacked me in the gate, but with this the combined why you efforts subscribe. of my powerful team, I took him down no problem. My subsequent journey to Veilstone City was uneventful, and thanks to the power of both Ambush and Cirrus... Quick, for those who have not seen this, do you think he's going to gamble? I felt comfortable immediately there's, challenging Maylene's There's there's perfectly There's slots go oh, That's my and favorite part of Pokemon first, Platinum ambush immediately O code Metatite. Nice Ambush's next wing attack did about two thirds to Machoke. Nice then it fired back with a critical hit rock tomb. Does that kill him? Taking that's out gotta most kill him. Of ambush's health and lowering its that speed. Didn't kill? Due to my fear of being outsped, I swapped in Kalahari, who after tanking a rock tomb I... was able to take down Machoke. I probably would have left the, the goal bat there. And now there's going to be five comments being like, I did the calculations, Purple Cliff. You would have lost. Choke with True. <laughs> In came her ace, Lucario, which struck with a powerful force palm. Ooh. Kalahari tanked it, though, and fired back with just one earthquake. That hits for weakness, right? Taking down Lucario nice. and winning me the battle. After that, I knew my next gym battle up was Crasher Wake, the water type gym leader. Yep. And since I didn't have uh, that, any I grass love that or gym leader type Pokemon, so much. I knew it was time to expand the team. What's he My gonna get? My first order of business was to enter the Great Marsh in an attempt to find a Tangela. It's Tangeli. Let me tell you, it was pretty freaking annoying. These things like to flee. After catching as many as I could before running out of Safari Balls, which was only four, I told you. How did you run out of Safari Balls? Dude, it was annoying. I grabbed the strongest I've never one, done which that. I named Tether, and added it to my squad. I did sadly bench okay. Cirrus the Staravia to do this. Anybody else notice the Babarel? Everybody has a Babarel. <laughs> which was a shame because I quite liked using him, but it didn't make sense to keep him around when I already had Ambush, who How I definitely dare intended you? to keep around. No, I wanted listen. to keep expanding the team, though. Shiny Golbat I decided I wanted is to not as cool as Staraptor. I'm quite fond of Galate. Galate makes up for it, okay. Before, but never in a platinum team. I really wanted it. Pause. This is not sponsored by Duncan, but... Because it's really strong, really cool, and also it's fighting type I knew would be very useful. I caught a few male Ralts and Curlias and added the strongest one to my squad named Gallant. Okay. After fetching the hidden Dawnstone west of Pastoria and then leveling up Gallant just once so it could become Curlia, I used the Dawnstone to make it a Gallade. And then I spent a long, long time training it up. And it was annoying to do because its only attack was Magical Leaf, which is... What? Can't you teach it Earthquake? A special attack, not good for a physical attacking Gallade, and I had to get it from like level low 20 something all the way to level- well, If you have an EXP share on it, isn't the, wouldn't it be better to just level up the Curlia and then evolve it into Gallade? I don't know if Gallade's EXP curve is higher. Teach it Psycho Cut, so that was, that was dull. Okay. But at least there were a bunch of water and ground types to the west of Pastoria for me to KO repeatedly. A lot. I was then Rip going shellers. to train up Tether against the gym trainers, There's, but I forgot. I can, I can already see it. This is a Jaden moment. At the end of the thing, something's gonna survive with one HP, and everyone's gonna be like, it's because of the shallow CVs. What about not subbed I'm attacking predicting it right now. And this became my toughest battle with him so far, since his team was noticeably higher level than mine. <sighs> I immediately had to withdraw Tether because he led with Staravia, and I went in with He always Ambush. leads with Staravia. Thankfully, Staravia's double team oh, didn't make no! me miss, 
So ambush you took didn't it down miss. with a couple hits. This is, this is why everyone looks at me crazy. Bro, they use one minimize and I'll miss seven attacks in a row. It's... In came Ponyta, which James almost opened as it lowered his defense. Okay. And Ponyta hit back with a crit stomp. Which did so much damage. Would have killed if it used off stop before Next him. was Grottle, which took a Instead very of tail long whip. time for Ambush to KO due to it using Withdraw so many times. But it finally got the job done. Nice. Last was Buizel, which Tether handily defeated. Let me tell you, I love that Tangeli. critical hit stump, meaning a Ponyta almost took out my water type. That made the adrenaline go, ha ha. It's fine, Mikey. There's like... Uh, there's so many fire types in Pokemon Platinum for you to worry about. So to the gym to train up Tether, and during that process, it learned ancient power and evolved into Tangrowth. Sick. A little while later, it was time for the gym the battle. The Tangrowth's gonna go to the champion. Horrifically, uh -oh. Wake led with Gyarados and I with Tether since I had no Electric type. First, it bit me and flinched me. I knew that could be a problem, so after that, Once I again? started to go for Stun Spores and to misses. make Gyarados slower than me. And he misses I then again. Missed Three Andy, consecutive stun scores. And he misses again. Which the chance to do so is only 1.5%, and then flinched on the following turn. Flinch, three misses, <laughs> flinch. <laughs> His face! I did nothing okay. for the first five turns. Yep. Finally, I landed been a stun there, score, dude. but I was I've forced to there. heal since Tether was down to red HP. I then had to use all of my ancient powers Did you get an Omni Boost? Drain to defeat the Gyarados. Since when I got it down to low health, he healed as no well. No Omni Boost? I did not get the Omni Boost any of those times either. F. Can I just say that in all my Platinum playthroughs over the year, including this shiny, incredibly Mikey. challenging one, the most difficult Pokemon to defeat, okay. in my experience, tends to be freaking Gyaradoses. I, I thought he was going to be like, in this Pokemon Platinum playthrough, I got so unlucky. And I know what happens later because I received a text message. But Do they have a four times weakness? Yes. But they tend to be Gyarados is terrifying. I, at one point in my career, I would always make fun of Magikarp and be mad. No. Gyarados is Very ground sick. moves. Wake. Cyrus, stop using your Gyaradoses. They're Give me very electric annoying. type, Mikey. Finally, the cursed Gyarados was down, and in came it Electivire. Its ice fang did a solid chunk to Tether, but Mega Drain healing allowed it to stay alive Doesn't for two Giga hits, Drain yet? and then take out Floatzel with okay. two hits. Finally, was Quagsire, which was an easy one shot. The yeah. battle was won, but not there's no way you don't one shot that. What an incredibly difficult challenge this is! My gosh! After some defogging <laughs> and such, I made it to Celestic. Boom! You don't defog. You go through that mouth, uh, mouth route like a man. You run in there, you miss. Your opponent misses. You think that missing five times with flinches is bad? No. You'd go through the fog of war. <laughs> Training against God. the trainers to the west of town. I didn't know defog was a thing for the longest time when playing Pokemon. Like, I had defog. I just didn't use it. That's a real hardcore Nuzlocke Pokemon challenge. <laughs> Both James and Ambush. Pause. I'm giving this idea to any PokeTuber. Pokemon, but always fog reached their final forms after the same battle. I would which was not want to try exact. that. Then it was time to oust Cyrus Wait a minute. The Crobat's pink? Time to oust Cyrus from the ruins. And immediately Why did they make it I was pink? in trouble. His it was green. Are Sneasel, I, I like the pink. And Murkrow. My only super effective moves for Sneasel were ancient power on a grass type. You don't type, need a super effective move. Just use a stab attacker. move. My only super effective moves for Golbat were ancient power on a grass type and psycho cut on a fighting type. And then my yeah, only just, super just effective move water for Murkrow pulse was ancient power on a grass type. He led with Sneasel and I led with Gallant, which forced me to switch to James since Psycho Cut Man, can't hit Sneasel all and these it was Pokemon, my only attack besides maybe, Magical Leaf. Maybe it's just me always using random typings, but super effective while it does two times the amount of damage when you're switching into a different Pokemon, that's two times the amount of turns and extra damage. Sneasel screeched I just James twice, dropping it to minus four defense. F, and James you're dead. Bubble Beam did less than half in return. It, I got well, scared and switched to Tether, thinking its bulkiness would save it from the ice moves. But this was wrong. Not only did Ice Punch oh, do more than F. half, but it froze Tether. Freezing is the dirtiest Pokemon mechanic James in history. I Metal Claw this time, which I clearly should have used the first time since yep. he KO'd. In that came Golbat, and I brought in Gallant. The first air cutter did less than half, and Psycho Cut almost O-code. Cyrus nice. healed, and I Psycho, Psycho Cut again, sick. which once Pyro? again 
barely did not KO. That was a high roll. The next turn, I somehow outsped, and that finished the oh, goal. Oh, the bat. speed tie. Finally, That's cool. was Murkrow, who I brought in Kalahari for. Its drill pack did one less than half health, and my Blade, dragon claw fast? did a lot. I just but realized. It with its berry. It drill packed again, but got a oh, better damage yeah. roll this time. One thing time. that a lot of people forget, Pokemon Platinum, they gave all of the tough Pokemon berries. Down Kalahari. I brought in James, who took a Nightshade. Do they, Barely like, did not KO with Bubble Beam. Come on, Pokemon Sword and Shield, make it a little bit harder. The, turn. the primary lesson from that battle was that, my God, I needed some coverage against... What is on your play button, and why is it shaped like that? Now that I could surf, I got the Brick Break TM from the Orberg Gate Basement, finally teaching Gallant a fighting type move. Nice. Not long later, I arrived in Canalave City, where not sub challenged me on yep, the bridge. Yep, that one always, I always forget that one. Uh-huh. His stupid Staraptor, Staraptor got six double teams, and it took me 11 surfs to hit it one time. Just don't miss. that was all I needed. Against Heracross, okay. <laughs> I, of course, missed one more time with Fly, but the second hit from Ambush <laughs> defeated it easily. Kalahari easily defeated uh, God, Rapidash, Can we get a miss counter? took down the substantially higher level Torterra in a few turns. Probat sick, man. Which Tether easily defeated. I then headed off to Iron Island to do some much needed grinding, and in the process of doing I, that- I always skip Iron well, Island. You're not gonna believe what happened. But I have witnesses, because it happened while I was on- I was a witness. Call with Pokemon set. Well, no, I wasn't a witness here. I was, I was not in this call because they don't love me. I'm in super blob, so let's just roll the clip. <laughs> oh my God, he gets a shiny. Yes. <laughs> what? Well, a what? <laughs> this he holding the phone up to the mic. <laughs> I found a shiny graveler and thing with Jen and it Is it gonna up. blow? Is it what? gonna blow? Mikey is going to blow up. You oh, gotta dude. press the B. I'll press the B button 32. with you. Oh my I'm okay, I'm stuck on my cable. Ah come on! There we go! Platinum. Okay. Yes, it has magnitude and self-destruct roll out and rock rock blast. Oh my god. Twenty-five percent chance for it to blow up. I would start chucking balls. Edit. Like that's the most logical thing to do because it can. Let's blow go, up. Ultra Ball. B. Ball. One. One. Broken. Oh no! Come on! Don't use self destruct. Don't use it. Every time it breaks, Come on! That's kind of rude. Magnitude, <laughs> Magnitude five. five. That doesn't kill. Ultra Ball number two. Come on! Press the B button right now. If you press the B button on your own controller, One, it will two, help out his game that came out three. two months ago. Oh no! no. no. Come on, Mikey. Oh, no. You've got this. One more Ultra Ball. It's not gonna self-destruct. It's, it's, it's rolled out. That is so good. This right here is the Pokeball. This is the one. Regardless of the stats, regardless of anything else that happens, the Ultra okay, so Ball that is gonna be happening right could, now a crit is, a crit is going to catch. That's true. All right, I'm Come metal on. clawing. Come on, one <sighs> HP, don't kill it. You've got this, believe, perfect. Oh, good, okay, good. The next rollout did the not roll miss, out. so it cannot boom. Ultra ball. Mikey, I believe in you. One, one two, two, three. three. Yes! yes! <laughs> Let's go. I had way too much fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> I named the shiny graveler Korg at John's Korg. suggestion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Korg. And evolved it into <laughs> a shiny golem not long later. But anyways, Korg became a new staple member of the team, meaning I did bench Kalahari the Gabite, which I didn't Fair. want to do. But, but also, it's a shiny. this was a full odd shiny, it's guys. A shiny. I gotta use it. And then, later that same <laughs> day, while battling alongside Riley, this happened. Hello. This is where I got a I got a message from Mikey just being like, you're not gonna believe me. And when you're getting a message like that out of the blue, it's normally like, what happened? Two shinies? His luck is better than mine months ago. I um I got another shiny graveler. <laughs> Somehow, I, uh, I've not seen the clip of I him just reacting. Had to send the ROM file. To yeah, 
Nick. Uh huh. He he messaged me in the moment, making like saying, "I don't know if this is legitimate or not. I think I might have got a bad ROM." No, uh, that he checked the files. This is a legitimate. I don't know how he got so many full odd shinies. Okay, super blood to be like, dude, did I accidentally download a bugged like one that had boosted odds by accident? He looked at the stuff. He says no. We love super blah here, by the way. Go subscribe to super blah too. It's full odds, which I don't understand. <laughs> I don't, what is this? <laughs> what? What on? O oh, oh, seven nine e fifty o oh, eight twenty eight. He could super block could send me this and just being like, "Yup, you're dying in three months," and I would believe it. <laughs> I uh, I have <laughs> one second. Never gotten this many full on shinies in this short amount of time in my life. Um, so the I comments guess had to have loved this. this. Oh, all right. Well, now the shiny's dead. <laughs> He killed it? No! Why am I saying no? One of us, Mikey! Shiny Killers I International! Catch one earlier Woo! today. <laughs> so in summation, I got three full one in eight thousand odd shinies yep. before even having six gym badges. I have That's never, insane, man. Ever gotten more than one shiny before beating the league, and most of those ones that I got were later gen one in four thousand odds yeah. shiny. So it's, the ones it's that crazy are more how likely rare. to show up. I have never, ever been this lucky in a playthrough. And to any of you that think I might have cheated these shinies in, <laughs> why would I cheat in shinies for the most annoying cave Pokemon? True. One of them being one that could blow itself up <laughs> and then do the blowing up one for content. A second time. After that chaos, I finally took on the sixth gym leader, Byron. My Do you think he would have given up on this challenge if both of them self-destructed? Think about it for a second. Knowing Mikey, I think he might not have made this YouTube video if both of them blew up. My plan was to sword stance <laughs> sweep with Gallant. Oh, he's gonna I get crit. The sword stance, or paralyzed. Course, Here comes the, the thunder wave. Paralyzed Gallant on the one <gasps> turn where it had the chance to. Gallant F. was able to take Magneton down, but it being low health and slower Died than Steelix to an allowed said Steelix to KO Gallant. Dude, Steelix is strong. Sword stance sweep hopes. I brought in Korg, who earthquaked, lived a flash cannon, self destruct, and earthquake self again to KO Steelix. Oh. He was Bastidon, which Korg defeated in one hit. You died. You killed that thing with an earthquake? Next, I had to battle Saturn Jeez. and the exploded Lake Valor. This battle was uneventful. Why didn't they give him a bronze or a gold bat? Easily. At this point Next in the game, they should have given him better Pokemon. Verity, and this was also mostly uh, uneventful. Gallant what? Swept through her team with little issue. I then began my journey. The, the, the beginning of this game is so much harder. And caught a few Sneasels in the process. I really wanted Weavile on my team, since not only is it really fast and really strong, it's but cool also Pokemon. its stab combination of Dark and yep. Ice would help out with a lot of the upcoming battles. Like cover Dragon many and members of Cyrus's team, Bertha's team, Lucian's team, and half of Cynthia's team. Yeah, that was none of the Pokemon I just talked about. <laughs> members, Garchomp and Togekiss. Unfortunately, after catching a few Sneasels, I realized that I wouldn't be able to use one quite yet. The soonest Wait, Razor Claw is a hidden item in Cyrus's office uh... in the Galactic Hideout, but even then, I could not train up my Sneasel just as a Sneasel. That's because Weavile you got and a only here. Weavile learns Night Slash at level 35. Meaning if I trained a Sneasel up past that, I would uh, miss Night Slash. Well, don't you I made have the call heart to scales? postpone using Weavile until I had the Razor Claw in hand. And then Mikey, catch a Sneasel that was- Mikey is so good at this. Right here, adding three minutes to the video that aren't even gameplay, just talking about something that ended up not even happening. Like he's talking about Weavile. He doesn't even get Weavile. Oh, I just spoiled a little bit for myself there. But like, he's really good at this. This is why the man's got one and a half million sure subs. That my Weavile would learn Night Slash. It was then time to take on Candice, the seventh gym leader. They really, they, Mira, Maylene, Candice, they predicted the future. Winona is by far the hardest gym leader that no one talks about. Pui, that's Candice. <laughs> well, James okay, dude. And Pileswine easily. A bomb of snow couldn't be KO'd in one hit, allowing it to get big damage. That's how you call it. Blast. I thought it was a bomb of snow. KO, but then came Frostlass. 
Since I wanted to try and feel cool by not using any potions, I let James go down, <laughs> figuring that my other four Pokemon could easily handle what? Frostlass. This was a mistake. <laughs> I made the severe oversight that the entire rest does of my he, team take, was weak to he Frostlass's lose? two stab types, Ghost and Ice, which allowed it to sweep through all of them and lose me the battle. Can I get a hail? There it is. Can you beat Pokemon Platinum? Apparently not. No. I just hey, want to say, if I had had Sneasel, I <laughs> would have been fine. But no, there's got to be this No, weird... if you used a potion, you would have been fine. Don't blame this on Sneasel. Stupid move said thing where only Weavile gets Night Slash at level 35 and Sneasel doesn't. It's also, not stupid. You apologize. Sneasel gets Ice Shard at level 49. Weavile doesn't, which means it's impossible to have a Weavile with both Night Slash and Ice Shard and Platinum without using a hard scale, which is stupid and ridiculous. And I just win. <laughs> I hate it. My apologies. No, Clearly, this <laughs> very difficult challenge was chipping away at part of my sanity. But I was I not believe about it. to give in. I immediately challenged Candace again, leading with Gallant to preserve James for Frostlass. Okay. Gallant dealt with Sneasel easily, Boom. and then I brought in James to fight Frostlass. While it was much easier oh this my time God. to like not the, the, the amount of double teams due to no hail, it still took several turns to take it down due to double teams. Eventually, though, James was able shot? to do it and take down the ice demon woman yeah. thing. James then took nice. down Pyloswine, then Easy. did big damage to Obama Snow before falling to focus big blast damage. and hail. Gallant came Four back HP? in to finish okay. it off, and the badge was mine. This time, hail yeah. Okay. After battling my way through the galactic hideout, I had my second chance to face Cyrus. Gallant easily took down Sneasel, while Korg took down Crobat. All right. Crow confused Korg, and I got Props to Mikey for not overleveling. So I swapped to James. That's, that's a meme I normally make, make about Mikey. But it, he's going into these underleveled. And dispatched Saturn with ease. It was then time for me to get my Weavile. Wait, I caught he, several he more them. Sneasel since the first few I caught weren't good enough. And once I found this adamant one, I, I like was how he named pleased. all of them. I named it Devious. He, he just named them all Devious rather than doing this. He learned from Starly. The word Devious sound like a cool Roman name. A short while later, Roman? I evolved it into Weavile and taught it Ice Punch at the Move Tutor west of Pastoria. All right. After a bit of training, I made my way up to Mount wait, Coronet wait, to Spear wait, Pillar. If, if you're complaining about hard scales, you use the hard scale. Okay. <laughs> Having left Tether in the box due to needing an HM mule. At the top, not subbed, and I took Hell down Mars mule? and Jupiter without a single one of our Pokemon fainting or switching I'm calling switching them HM donkeys Swords from dance. now on. Mwah. Beautiful move. Can't believe I never used boosting moves as a child. Also, it was really nice to it's have broken. Brick Break up against the two Bronzors, which just kept trying to use Reflect and Light Screen. And I, just I learned that one time. recently. After navigating my way through the Let's Flex about the weird... Oh, let's hear There's what he's gonna stuff say. Stuff and cool graphics we can do on a DS world. It was time yeah, for the infamous. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. This that world right there was better than any 3D Pokemon game or even 3DS game in the world. What they did with the DSI on this game, mwah, I loved it. It's difficult. This is still one of my Cyrus. favorite Pokemon places one of the in the game. That makes this challenge <laughs> pretty so much because of Cynthia. <laughs> Sorry. James took down Houndoom after taking a hit. Then Who came Gyarados, in my opinion, and Empoleon. His toughest Pokemon. I yeah. left in my special attacking James to eat the Intimidate. I then What's switched to Ambush to avoid the incoming Earthquake. Both of our attacks were okay, that was a good KOs, switch. and since Ambush was faster, that meant I had <laughs> the upper me hand. Here. <laughs> that was a good switch. <laughs> Call me Pokemon Challenges. Fortunately, my second fly missed, so Ambush fell. I brought in Devios to outspeed and finish off the Gyarados, I but shard? Cyrus healed. Ice Punch How much does Ice Punch do? Froze Gyarados, though, oh, which was easy. incredible, just, and it forced just him win. to switch to his own Weavile. I swapped to Gallant to deal with the Weavile. All right. He just came back in to deal with Honchcrow. Easy. And then he brought back in the Dosicle, and I brought in Gallant to set up Sword Dosicle. Stance after the Intimidate. This allowed Gallant to nice. finish it off, and then finally was his Crobat, which I defeated with a couple rock slides from Korg. Next nice. was Giratina, and I simply threw the Master, Master Ball. Ball. I, I didn't intend to use Giratina on my team since I'd grown quite attached to the team respect. of six that I Real quick, I always, you always throw one Pokeball before the Master Ball. I already had. Always, Plus, just in case. I didn't need the Master that Ball for small, another small shiny. chance. Because if I found another Shiny in this run, I did not deserve to catch it. The next event of note was well, the final gym battle against Volkner. While Korg was able to handle Jolteon, no Did he not use Ball Seals this whole run? Man, Problem, my favorite part about, one of my favorite parts about Platinum Raichu, is just okay. Ball Seals. Meaning my one ground type was down after only KOing one Pokemon F. in the electric type battle. F. There may have been some obscenities yelled. 
I'm telling you, it's a tough challenge. I brought in Tether, <laughs> but Raichu Signal Beam did too I've much. I've hung out with Mikey off camera. He has never, ever said a no-no word. Never. Except for And grass knot What's up next? Too little. Grass knot? Gallant, who's high special Raichu's defense, like four pounds. attacks very well. I set up sword stance and took down Raichu. In came Electivire, who outsped Gallant, but Gallant's I would have expected him to have a Gallant or HP an Electivire on his team. Electivire right back. Nice. This allowed me to heal against Luxray. He didn't use Luxray right either. Afterward, winning me the battle. Gallant the Gallade and his dancing swords were really saving my butt. Uh, I got through you know the what? victory road with some- Mikey really tried to uh, to deviate from the meme of everybody's team platinum team looked like faints, this. Faints, but nothing super dire. Then had my final battle with not subbed at the lead. <laughs> so Raptor's close combat I know did a that. ton of damage that one was to James, there. but it ensured I knew my that. next ice beam would Oko. Then Devios easily Oko'd Torterra. Okay. Ambush easily Oko'd Heracross. Okay. And Tether easily two hit KO'd Floatzel. Korg then quick claw outsped Rapidash and Oko'd it. Oh, I, Gallant finished the battle I kind of wish he showed the items Snorlax. that he was using. That means every team member got a KO, so you know, that's fun. I yeah, yeah. spent some time grinding up my team and improving their movesets, but once I was done with that, it was time for the final stretch of this incredibly difficult challenge, the Sinnoh Pokemon League. First oh, I thought Aaron, you were going to just say Cynthia. Smoothly. Ambush took down Yan Mega, Heracross, and Vespaquen, while Quark took out Drapion. This, this Elite Four is tough, man. And Gallant took out Scizor. Next was Bertha, and this battle also went smoothly. While Devios took out Gliscor, Tether okay. handled the rest of her team. With four using times weakness. super powerful grass knots due to how heavy Tangelli's most of her Pokemon busted. are. Next was Flint, though. The Elite Four member that I was the most concerned. Uh, what this dude look like? Ronald McDonald. <laughs> All of his Pokemon are definitely faster than Korg the Golem and could definitely Oko it with a solar beam, and James's water moves would be nerfed by the sun. Okay. James also does not resist fire, and a lot of Flint's Pokemon had coverage for it. I wasn't sure if Korg and James, my two Pokemon, whose stab attacks were super effective against fire, uh -huh. would be able to beat Flint. But they did. So I just swept with Gallant. Okay. Since I knew his Houndoom didn't have Will-O-Wisp, I was free to swords set up Swords Dance, dance up. on turn one while it set up and the sun. Sunny day. Gallant then obliterated Houndoom, then Rapidash. Easy Infernape win. came in and outsped, doing big sun boosted damage with Flare Blitz. Oh, but Gallant the recoil is going to kill it. Answering with a devastating Psycho Cut. Oh, he's then fighting type. Never mind. All had to do was outspeed an Oko, Flareon, and Magmortar to win me the battle GG. in a very fun way. When did he get burned? The final Elite Four member was Lucian. Right off the bat, Devios took down Mr. Mime. He okay. immediately brought in Gallade I and don't I think brought he got in the screen Ambush. Up. This was dangerous since Ambush is weak to Psychic, but thankfully Ambush was faster, the sword landed stance. its fly, and KO'd the Gallade with it. Nice. Devios then handled Espeon and Alakazam, while Gallant used Sword Stance uh, the to Weavile open really the helped him. since I had no fire moves. Then finally, it was time for the Cynthia. Yeah! Battle, the toughest battle of the- Let's just keep it here. We don't need to watch anymore. We can just we can just have this pop up on the screen. Best playthrough challenge I've ever done. <laughs> Victory was so close I could taste it. Does he lose? But I still had to defeat her. Okay. James took on Spiritomb first since he resisted all of its attacks. The it Spiritomb hits and healing on her part, but eventually James. He got took the it healing down. out of the way. Turn Next one was Garchomp. Garchomp up. Thankfully, Devios did its job. Come on, crit. Speeding and knocking it out. In nice. One hit. Next was Lucario, Earthquake. Gallant close combated Ooh. into oblivion. Murdered. Next was the dreaded Togekiss, which Devios ice punched. Did it freeze? This thing had to have lived on literally one <laughs> HP, and that allowed <laughs> and it to fire back him. with a four times super yep. effective Aura Sphere. I brought in Korg on the turn she healed and risked an inaccurate but Cobb. very powerful Stone Edge. Boo. And this Come on, self destruct! Togekiss barely survived again. The Would next turn, I clicked Rock Slide, certain I was doomed. But Korg Stayed barely alive. held on from the Aura Sphere, hey. landing its Rock Slide and taking the one HP Karma. Down. Ambush then easily handled Roserade, and finally Tether landed a critical hit Grass Knot on my Lodic, winning me the battle with this glorious team that really needs to work on their Mike Wazowski posing. Thirty nine hours. That's that's not bad for Pokemon Platinum. I completed the toughest playthrough challenge I've ever attempted. Gallant the Galate <laughs> was toughest. <laughs> My game. Absolutely the MVP. The amount of time Sword Stance it's either saved my butt from a sticky situation or just won me the battle outright 
was many and it was so fun. Thanks so much for watching. And Good video. I wish I was able to do storytelling like this, but I just know I would sit down in front of my piece of paper and have no idea what I was going to write. This was probably the best April Fool's video that I've watched, but thanks, Mikey, for letting me watch this. If you haven't already, subscribe to Mikey. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for the rest of the month.